everybody. So um, with me is Bruno. So he's our tech guru in the office. And we're going to talk through some of the questions that you had from the last vlog I did where I talked about my computer setup. So one of the questions was about the specs of the computers we use. And so I'm going to hand it over to Bruno to give you guys a bit of a rundown on what you might be looking for when you make a trading PC or buy one. Hello guys, um, so yeah, whenever you're making a trading computer, I would recommend going either an i5 or i7 or if you're going AMD for a processor, you can go Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7. Uh, nothing lower than that because it might affect your performance and that's not, not really something that you want whenever you're trading. If you're going for memory specs, I would recommend definitely something more than 8 gigabytes of memory because uh, with the applications that you're going to use on a daily basis it consumes a lot of memory and that's going to make your pc go slower if you don't you have a lot of memory on it so yeah definitely recommend anything um higher than eight gigabytes of memory um i would recommend going for 16 gigs uh, that's the perfect setup and anything higher than that is definitely overkill so you don't need that hard drives i would recommend not using a um hard drive um, you should go for a solid state uh, drive, an SSD, or an NVMe drive, which will be the same. Um, and they provide much more um, faster speeds um, running your system, and you won't run into any slowness, as I said, that that's something that you don't want whenever you're trading. In terms of screens, you can go for basic stuff, 22 or 24 inches, that's, that's the normal stuff that you can have. Um, you don't really need for like basic trading, you don't really need anything higher than that, but obviously that, that's preferential. On any computer, even if you're going on a, on a budget, I would recommend having a um, graphics card on it because that's gonna have a separate memory and a separate processing power to deliver whatever you can see on your screen. So you can have a graphics card with four outputs, like an NVS 510 or a Quadro P620 or an ASUS GT710, that's a good one, really cheap. It has four HDMIs on it, and you can just pop into your PC and have four screens on it. That's gonna give you plenty of room to have your charts, your trading specs, and everything else. I think that's, that's basically it. If you're looking for a computer that can give you room to trade and uh, give you a good performance on it. Yeah, nice. And actually, so yeah, when someone was asking about how we run our computers with so many screens, like what specs we need to do there, um, I also use two computers. So like if you look down here, I have two mice, two keyboards, or actually like three. <laughs> so yeah, you can see that it's, yeah, it's not just off one, one computer. So yeah, one for execution and then the other one for charting. All right, I think we've probably covered most of the stuff. And then just yeah, in terms so. of the screens, um, you know, they don't have to be anything fancy either. You know, like you want them obviously the size, like uh, Bruno said, you know, so they're obviously displaying enough information for you, but they don't have to be, you know, HD something posh. You know, I suppose at the end of the day, most of the stuff we're looking at is like colored bars and we just sit here watching boxes move around on a screen or reading text. So yeah, none of that's really all that important. Yeah, should keep it simple. Perfect. And on the computers, make sure that you either reboot it every day or every weekend, because that's again, it's going to free up some memory so you can run your applications with more performance. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, I do mine every day. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much, much for that. Thank cool. You. All See right. You Okay, and I just want to add my own couple of pieces onto that as well. So the other thing I just want to bring to your attention is what I was trying to get across in the last um, vlog about my computer setup was that it's not really about the equipment you have, but what, you know, like what you've learned and your experience and your skills. So, you know, if you want to get become a better trader, making your computer a little bit faster isn't really the thing. You just need a computer that kind of the minimum requirement. After that, just focus everything on here. And then, you know, that's what's gonna really make your career. All right, guys, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Don't spend too much on your computer, but do get something that's gonna at least cover all your minimum requirements. And then, yeah, all the best for learning and trading well. All right, guys, it's Friday and everybody else is downstairs at a workshop, so I'm gonna have a beer and go and join them. I'll see you guys next week.